Okie doke. So, haven't recorded one of these thoughts things in a while, so figured that today I haven't really done much else but watch movies, I figured I'd try this out again. So, earlier today I had finished watching Prometheus for the first time, and decided to go see the new film Alien Covenant, and now I'm documenting my thoughts for anyone who cares to listen to listen to. So. As for the first film Prometheus, I had been a follower of the franchise Alien for a while. I was familiar with it when I was younger, and I had saw, seen the first film, Alien, which is an interesting slasher film in space, really good for its time, a bit slow in some parts, but slowly building up suspense, so naturally it holds up pretty good. Aliens is a sequel which I kind of prefer a bit more, because it's a lot more action oriented, and it does take full advantage of the aliens uh, that they have. Pretty good characters, memorable moments, memorable lines, pretty all around good fun. As to which one is better, like I said, I prefer Aliens, but I go back and forth on which one's the actual better film, as Alien is a pretty close second. Now I haven't seen both Alien 3 or Alien Resurrection all the way through, I've just seen enough to know that how much of it is garbage. As for the follow up films, Aliens vs Predator and Alien vs Predator Requiem, I don't need to go into much detail, as those are not really considered part of the main canon, hopefully, but they're not that good either. Only of us Predator for the longest time, out of all the Alien follow-up sequels I've enjoyed the most, because, well, it's campy fun and it was kinda hard, uh, and kinda harmless. The sequel of that was absolute trash, but that's to say another day. Instead, first, let's talk about Prometheus. Now for the longest time I had heard that Prometheus was out of all of the follow-up or sequels to Alien that would be considered the best. Again seen, not a very high bar. Personally, I didn't really enjoy it enough to call it, even call it the best, because it... I really kind of wanted to get into the film because it was clear what the director Ridley Scott was doing going back to his roots and doing the original Alien film the film and what worked there and trying to make it rework really for today's audience and I could understand that because that formula does work because that film holds up in ways that it does pretty well however as for the film itself it tries to repeat the, thing, the formula that made Alien work in the first place but it's really really boring like the first half of the film was so Oh my god, it was an hour before anything had actually happened, any of the like quote unquote horror had started happening. Until then, it just seemed like it was focused, because the entire marketing for, for Prometheus was that it, while it was a pre happened before Alien, it has nothing to do with Alien. It has all the stuff to do with the engineers, the main like giant creatures we saw briefly for the beginning of Alien, and trying to explore like who they were, what it was all about. And at all talking about, oh, these are these ancient beings that came to Earth responsible for our creation. They had created our, us using their technology or some things and not meaning of life for beating your maker and all this pretentious garbage. Oh my god, this is so boring to listen to. That's why the first alien was set, uh, set as a mystery, because we didn't know what they were going after. They didn't know what it was. They went down to the planet and they found the stuff. And then the stuff suddenly got who got them in a lot of trouble. With this one, they know exactly the reason they're going there, they intend to... what they're hoping to find, and I would be more invested if the stuff wasn't so boring. And they're telling it as such a serious story, and I'm sorry, these engineers are not interesting. This idea isn't interesting, and the whole, whole mission ends up being for naught, for more reasons I'll get into in a minute, because after the first hour, which just plays out as the most boring science fiction film you've ever seen, and it's slowly kind of ominously building up to a whole bunch of stuff. Since this alien film, we're bound to see some monsters, and we do see monsters, just not the monsters we wanted to see, or were hoping to see. Instead of the usual xenomorphs, we instead get these weird creatures from the ground, some ooze, a burster from the that was impregnated after someone had sex with another person and then impregnated her with a um, alien entity thing that had to be removed, which was a squid, and the squid comes into play later somehow. How does this tie into alien? And it's less like, but and also suddenly one person just like turns into a zombie or some. 
I don't know what the heck any of this has to do with Alien, or what this has to do with anything. This, it's like seeing it as its own thing, it's fine, but none of the monsters have any consistency, it's just some random junk. Just some random things that keep on happening, and the whole thing of like who the engineers are, and why did they create humanity, and what they're going to do, never answered. They they never even bother to like say or explain who they are or what they do. It's just all of a sudden they decide to destroy humanity because reasons, I guess. And it's supposed to be left open ended, like oh, what is this great mystery and stuff. But it's again all the talk about the stuff and faith and all this malarkey is really really boring. It's just what it ended up turning out to be boring. The first hour just boring, and the second hour just confusing. With all the all the monsters and stuff suddenly happening, it just felt out of place. I, I just wouldn't put it up there with the main alien uh, alien films. I wouldn't. I just wouldn't consider it part of it at all. But then all of a sudden, something similar to a xenomorph shows up at the end for some reason, and just it feels like a letdown and a confusing pace. So, yeah, that was Prometheus. And while I didn't really like the film Prometheus, I felt like I had to see it in order to go ahead and understand the entire film of Alien Covenant, the film I just saw a few hours ago from recording this. And uh, this, considerably out of all the films, and I can tell from like, people who have reviewed the film and talked about it, this is considered the best thing from the Alien franchise that has been put out. This is better than Prometheus. But again, that's not a high bar. And I assure this is like, while it was an interesting watch, and I enjoyed quite a lot of parts of this, I never intend to watch it again, and I'll get into that later. While the beginning of the film started, well, actually the very beginning of the film, I was really nervous because it started talking about a few things, and it was like, oh no, are we back in for this pretentious stuff again? Why are we back with these characters? But then the film starts properly, and it feels like a follow-up a follow from most Alien films. It's like, we get to see these people, instead of just spending a lot of time slowly than waking up, things actually start happening very quickly, and it's kind of a disaster kind of situation. You understand who people are, you understand what the motive is, you know where they're going, what they're doing. It's pretty easy understanding characters, and since there's a lot of characters, it's like simple to understand, and it's like, it's an emotional way to get attached to someone. It's actually a pretty good way to start off the film. And it's very much welcoming after the uber boring opening of Alien of Prometheus. I was about to call it Alien stuffing, but heck, you might as well call it Alien Prometheus if it's going to be part of the franchise. But then they start to go down to the planet, and then following on from that, it feels like another Alien movie, and again in a good way. It managed to do it, tell the story in a way that is like, yeah, this is a normal like colonist coming down to find a planet. And it, it wasn't the planet they were intending to go on, so they weren't going out looking for this planet, but they came across it, found a signal, playing John Denver of all things, and uh, they ended up finding on an, a planet, and there's some xenomorph kind of things there. Stuff happens, and horror ensues, and some really bloody action. If you're looking for, like, body horror and blood kind of stuff that you're used to be in the Alien franchise, well, you'll find it here. And that part is entertaining. And that was for most of the first hour. Which is like, okay, this is where the film is going. <laughs> Time to get myself invested, because it's like, it's pretty good so far. Then comes the middle, where things start to teeter around, and then suddenly the film reminds you that, oh yeah, this has to follow on from Prometheus, so let's answer a few questions. And by answer a few questions, you mean, oh, you mean about those engineers that we were talking about in the last film? Like, who they are? Why did they want to hate humanity? We don't know. They just straight up don't answer any questions from Prometheus. It's like, oh, okay, so you're just following suit just like the ending of Prometheus and not answer a damn thing. Okay, good to know. At least we know what kind of boat we're in. And then we're just like following one of the characters who survives, and if you'd ever watched Prometheus you'd know who one of the characters is. I don't want to go into specifics, but uh, it was one character which I was interested in the first film of Prometheus, but he just feels, it's like, he definitely felt odd. It wasn't a likable character, he's just odd. It was like, and it was that oddity which I kind of like found intriguing, because it's like you wanted to know what his story was, and you found out a bit more here. Unfortunately, it has to follow up with a lot of the stuff from Prometheus. 
a lot more of the pretentious stuff that followed on and it's all about the meaning of life where this all sort of thing goes and it all builds up to something which I'll get a little bit into but I won't want to spoil in case anybody does want to go see it because if you want to go see it, it is a good time and it does well like most of the stuff is like the beginning is pretty good and well done the middle kind of is a teetering on yeah it's okay and the ending is just an ending and the ending part is like okay this is a climax and the final part is an interesting climax but what drags the entire thing down and as to why I'll never watch this again it's all got to do with the fact that it has to tie Alien and Prometheus together it has to tie into all the loose ends it has to answer a qu and it does the traditional horror problem with follow-up movies answering the question that we didn't ask. We didn't need to know where something came from and in order to tie it in together you make the entire thing feel more compact and small and annoying and it's like we didn't need to know this and in fact the way that you're telling it makes me hate the way that it originated. You're making me hate this kind of character which I found interesting. You're making me hate the idea of these monsters that we followed in the, mo in the series and it's because created for this reason. And it's a boring reason. We didn't need to know this. We didn't want to know it. I didn't want to know it. I just wanted to see a fun movie. This isn't interesting at all. This is, in fact, it's just more of the stuff that is pretentious from the last film that is followed up to this film. And I would have probably forgiven a bit more if the very, very end didn't happen. Because it all kind of came to a build up, and then there was a twist which I unfortunately saw coming and then the movie just stops. How does the ending make me feel? Well, here's the thing if you've ever seen any of the Alien movies would understand. It's basically like if the beginning of Alien 3 happened at the end of Aliens. So basically if the movie just spits in your face and says, there you go, and the movie ends. And so it's like I just ended up walking out of a theatre kind of like, I've enjoyed parts but Oh, fuck. Fudge. The end just makes it feel all the more disappointing and unwarranted and... Oh my god, this is... And it's a movie I will never watch again. But I will gladly say that it is the best one made out of all the Alien alien sequels and prequels and whatevers and spin-offs of the franchise. But if you ever want to get into fra if you want to get into these movies, just stick with the first two. You're safer off that way. So yeah, that was my thoughts on Alien Covenant and Prometheus. And now I shall disappear into the cosmos of the internet until I decide to record one of these again. Farewell.